All right, I want to keep this brief because initially I didn't even really want to talk about this whole situation because I didn't read Fruit's Google document, right? The only thing that I knew about it and I came to my own conclusions from then and I know I shouldn't have because I should have just read the document for myself taking like 25, 30 minutes out of my day to actually read it. But I simply just didn't have the time and didn't care enough to get involved into whatever VTuber drama was going on. So I just didn't care and I didn't read it. And then I saw a couple of videos talking about it. I saw Tom Dark's video. I saw Asmund Gold's video on it and it kind of put things into a new perspective. And I went ahead and I read the Google document. And yeah, all I'm going to say is, is that I think this all started with the fact that Fruit's ex-husband mentioned that she cheated on him with, I don't know if it was like one guy or like multiple guys. I don't know how true any of this information is i think so far from what i can tell it's just a bunch of rumors and speculation as to whether or not she actually did it or not because he was the one that actually started this in the fucking first place and the only thing that i really have to say about this is that the husband was a fucking piece of shit right i don't blame fruit for cheating on her ex-husband at all because he was an awful terrible human fucking being one of the most incel people that i've ever seen on the entirety of the internet because the google doc starts off with him trying to insinuate that he wants to do a couple of like sexual acts with her some stuff that she's not very comfortable with and then it just continues to keep going on from there for the first like a few pages of the google document he's just pestering her trying to convince her to do this and the other try to do something that she's not very comfortable with it and he she just keeps saying no i don't want to do it this is uncomfortable it scares me and i don't want to do it yada 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 and he just continues to keep pestering her over and 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 over again i'm only showing a couple of screenshots of some of the conversations that they have between each other but it just goes on for so many pages between the two of them of him just constantly trying to convince her to do this that, and the other trying to do x y and z trying to get her to do something that she's not comfortable with and it was weird some of the most incel behavior i've ever fucking seen in my entire life and but then it gets even worse because of the fact that at one point he then tries to say that he's going to kill himself all because she doesn't want to do a spe specific sexual act with him is this nigga serious literally the most incel behavior i've ever seen because your wife doesn't want to do something that she's not comfortable with you're gonna threaten to actually take your own fucking life because she doesn't want to do it. She has autonomy over her own body, which by the way, to content creators like WestJet, who has since deleted his video admittedly and admit that he was wrong for not getting the proper information correct, and as well as Asmongold, who did the exact same fucking thing, her using that specific term of phrase, autonomy over her body, that does not mean that she was trying to insinuate that her cheating on her husband was correct right that's not what she was trying to insinuate at all and the context that she used it in her having autonomy over her own body meant that she had the full right and condition to do whatever she wanted to do with her own body and whether or not she wanted to do that sexual act that her ex-husband was trying to get her to do she had the right to, to agree or deny doing something that she was uncomfortable with with her with her ex-husband and that's pretty much all she was trying to say that's all she was trying to say in the entire google documents she wasn't trying to say that her cheating on her husband was correct and that it was the morally correct thing to do but honestly in this context and in this situation i don't blame her even if it is true i don't blame her for cheating on her husband because he just is the most insecure obsessive pathetic piece of shit human being that i've ever seen in my entire life and i don't blame her i don't blame her for doing any of this it was it's wrong it's fucked up he's a terrible human being i don't care right i, I like I'll, I'll give her the pass right for doing this because yeah he was deployed he was in the military and blah 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 but he was a, an awful human being it's crazy how many people didn't actually read the google document because if you had actually read the document you would have come you would have come to the same conclusion that i had and it's that if she actually did cheat on her husband, that's wrong. Especially if he was deployed out on, into the military. That's very wrong. I 100% agree. If it's true that she actually did that, that's very wrong. She shouldn't have done that. But the husband was just an awful, terrible fucking human being. And in the position that she was in, I don't blame her for being thrown into a feeling of desperation of trying to get out of that in any way whatsoever. And then ultimately cheating on her partner right i don't blame her for doing that i completely 100 percent understand if i were in that position i would feel suffocated as well i would i would feel like i had to i had to break out of it in some sort of way 
and do something that I might not have done otherwise. I don't blame her, right? I'm not I'm not mad at her for that. I don't think people should have this looming over her head for the rest of her fucking life because Twitter is still mentioning it, even though this happened last fucking week and people are already done talking about it. It's crazy, right? It's crazy, you know? But that's all I really have to say about it, right? Fruit, right? I'm glad that she's doing better. I'm glad that she's in a better position of her life. I'm glad she, that she's not in this awful, toxic relationship that she was in before. I hope that she does better in her life and... Yeah, that's all I can really, uh, like, ask from this situation. The only thing that I can really ask from other people is to actually read the document because it provides a lot of context and information that would help give you an understanding of the situation. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say about the topic at hand. I didn't even really want to talk about it, but here I am talking about it. So I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to go ahead and give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for being the only member on the channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys considered joining the membership. Uh, it would be amazing if you did. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let the